is Estathina, mighty Poseidon, the Earth Shaker. Zelus Artemis, with her deadly aim, set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain dead pigs, all of them. I see you there. Come closer. This is your fault. You are the victim. All the mortals are made in the bone workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble. Burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They are cruel, vindictive and selfish. And let the heel of Achilles, these witnesses will be their undoing. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow-minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. You once fought beside his allies, the Titans, convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... My tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a froth. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. It's an art. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a Wait, skirmish. Wait, don't tell me.
There, I see her clear as day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. Although, I should write that down. Washed up on an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Phoenix saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix! Again! You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. Local ghost! Local ghost! Can you hear me? You've gone cold. What magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. My brother's sword! No! You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery in battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in... Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. She was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword for her first real fight. Phoenix 
shelter training come into focus. I should be able to survey the land from up there. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, totally alone, this young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother... Boring! Can we skip this part? No. This is important for the sense of atmosphere. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. Well, they really don't appreciate a good story. got into the Ambrosia too? Prometheus! You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please! She can't use it anyway. Yet. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. A temple of Apollo! If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift.
to get down. The pollen! Phoenix felt Ligiron's blade with every step. Its weight a reminder of the heavy responsibility. You gave him your blade? Oh, Achilles. I, I meant to ask, why exactly would you expect to receive a sword from Achilles? Oh, uh, as an offering. Just a routine offering from someone who gazed into your eyes and told you you were special. That's all. I left a rose on his breastplate. Got something in my eye. Keep going. Being shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. There's no way across. Sing of Hermes, the luck-bringing messenger of the Immortals. He consorts with all mortals and immortals. Little he profits, but through the dark night, he continually tricks. That's nice. Who wrote that? My favorite poet, who just happens to not have been born yet.
the adamantine shed by Typhon's minions, metal of the gods, threw itself to Phoenix, as if wanting to be forged into something greater. Stop with the mortal pity party and get to the action part. Fine. Now that's more like <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. Isn't that what the best poetry is about? to swim to the other shore. Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to her. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. Must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. Time for you to help me against Typhon. It's not over yet. Not by a long shot. Please. 